So the Oxford Social Finance Program and, and Oxford in general occupies uh, a fairly unique place in the impact investing ecosystem. Um, it has been very much at the, at the heart of the discussion for a long time, given, uh, given the research that's flowed out of the university as well as the school centre. Um, and I think what it really does that is, you know, that places it above some of the others uh, that are out there is that you bring together leading practitioners from the field who are coming and having these closed door conversations and talking not just about finished products, not just about a success story, but also engaging with the participants on projects that are currently underway, on solutions uh, uh, you know, on problems that, that you're trying to navigate uh, and on solutions that you want to try and co-create together. And I think that, uh, that perspective is, is what is invaluable to, to a number of participants. It's no mystery that uh, we've seen in recent years the ways in which there's been a rethinking about uh, uses of capital to drive social impact. Uh, of course, the impact investing work uh, for a number of years now has been a very prominent theme of activity and has been attracted, uh, a number of philanthropists and others have been attracted to this, to this content. I think what social finance does, though, is it expands the aperture, if you will, on how we think about the broad continuum and uses of finance to drive social outcomes. And that's what I think is most <clears throat> unique, is that you, uh, oftentimes in the impact investing field, which certainly is legitimate and important and everything else, you don't consider the broad continuum of activities, both from grant making all the way up to sort of equity or debt or other uh, financial instruments. What's great about the social finance course at uh, the Said Business School is that you're taking an entire look at that continuum in trying to bring a more holistic view to how you use the capital that's available to you to drive important impact in the world. So I think people should really attend uh, this course and really think about social finance because uh, the kind of impact we create is directly dependent upon the kind of money that funds it. So if I give you really unstrategic, you know, one year activity based grant, that's the kind of project that you will create. But if I think through the impact I want to achieve and if the money is strategic and structured and multi-year and flexible and aimed at a particular result, you will actually solve problems much faster and better and deeper. Uh, so I believe that, you know, into the future, this is going to be extremely critical and how we do this and how well we do this is going to determine the kind of society we will create. I've been so impressed by the social finance program here at Oxford and um, the, the attendees had really insightful questions. So the peer group is smart, they're inquisitive and they want to make change. So I'm honored to be around such a great group of people. I fear sometimes that when we talk about social finance, that we actually lose the social in the finance equation. And so I think what's unique at, here at the social finance program at Oxford is that you're trying to bring those together. You're trying not to lose the social aspects of the social finance uh, proposition. You can come and hear the guy who literally wrote the book about social finance lecture on it. But the other part is your fellow students. And I am astonished at the quality of the students that are here today. Students with a lot of experience in countries ranging from here in the UK to the US, Russia, Indonesia, China, Japan. Uh, it's quite exceptional, both the quality of the students and the diversity of their experience. Some, some coming from the business world, some from the nonprofit world, a few from the government sector. It's a terrific uh, combination of people. I wish I were a student 